Hi everyone, this is Marty here. In today's episode, I'm going to give you an introduction of the mobile phone app for Microbit. So let's come and have a look. In this episode, we're going to divide it into two parts. The first part is the introduction of the iPhone mobile phone app. And the other one is about the Android phone app for Microbit. Now let's start from the first part. So the iPhone Bluetooth programming, how can we achieve the iPhone Bluetooth programming? Firstly, we need to download the Microbit app in App Store. You can see the interface like this. After download it, you can see the icon shown like this. And then the first step is to choose the Microbit. Then we need to click the yellow object. You can see the instruction right here, paired a new microbit. After clicking it, you will see the interface shown like this. You need to follow the instructions in this area. You need to press the button A, press button B, press reset button. And after that, waiting for a while until the microbit dot matches show the words and then click next button. So after that, you will see an image shown on the microbit ball. You need to touch the square block on your phone just and make an image the same as the picture shown on the microbit. So after that, you can click next. Then press button 8 and click the next button. If you see the interface shown like this, that means you have already successfully connected. After that, you need to return to the page and choose create code. Here I want to say the browser you need to choose is Google. Copy the website and paste it to the Google browser. Open the programming interface. You can drag the block to write your own program. If you want to download it, you can click this button and then it will download it automatically. So if you want to upload the programs to the microbit board, you can choose flash and then click flash button. You can choose the one that you programmed. And if you want to delete it, just click this button. After waiting for a while, you will see the interface shown like this. That means you have already flashed it successfully. So it's very easy to understand and you can also try it by yourself. So here is the introduction of the iPhone Bluetooth programming. Now let's come to the next part. So how about the Android program? From the very beginning, we need to open the Microbit app, write it in our package, or download the Microbit installation package through the App Store. Unlike Apple, we also need to download a Google browser. Just like I mentioned before, only Google browser can open the Microbit programming web. So this Google browser can be downloaded in every application store. Then just like the iPhone procedures, the first step we need to choose the Microbit and click the yellow object. Here that you can see, pair a new Microbit and then press 8 plus speed plus reset button. Wait for a while until the Microbit dot matrix show the words and then click next. Then you need to touch the square block and make an image just as the same as the picture shown on the microbit. Then click next button. Press button 8 and then enter it into the next step. If you see the picture shown like this, that means you have successfully paired with the microbit. So after that, you need to return to the page and choose create code. Just like I mentioned before, you need to copy the website and paste it to Google browser. Open the programming interface. You can drag the block to anywhere that you like to write your own program. So you can see using the Google browser to open it. You can choose less code to enter the programmable web. You can see the interface is the same as the programming web on our PC. And this one shows the download procedure. If you want to upload the program to the microbit, you can choose the flash button to click flash to upload the program to microbit. After for a while, you can see the interface like this. That means you have already successfully paired with the microbit. So it's very easy to understand and operate it, right? Give it a shot by yourself. So if you still have any question, please feel free to contact us. See you there.